Hello investors, welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing all of the dividend payouts that I received for the last month. Now, obviously this is my dividend portfolio. These are stocks that I owned that pay me out a dividend ranging between two to four, sometimes even 5% yield. Now, the way this works is basically I own these companies, they go ahead and pay me a piece of that a dividend every month or sometimes every quarter, depending on the dividend and the you know stock that I am owning. Um, I go ahead and auto reinvest, also called as the drip method, back into the portfolio. So I reinvest all of that money that I receive and buy more, um, you know, shares of the company. And that is uh, also, you know, like the snowball effect or the compounding interest. Basically, the more you own of the shares, the more you're going to be receiving. And that way you're going to be reinvesting even more. And the compounding just keeps on building and building. And in the long run, you're going to be receiving so much passive income where you can just live at home without having to work. Now, before we get into all the payouts, I'm going to go ahead and show you this graph that I made for you guys. So obviously, this is my dividend passive income. Uh, this is all of the months that I've, you know, since I started investing last year in April 2019. You know, that first month, I only received $1.26, as you can see right there. And then, you know, as I invested more and more money into the portfolio, I started to receive more and more uh, dividends from, you know, the stocks that I was, I was owning. And I, you know, just would reinvest all that money back into the portfolio and buy more stocks of, you know, whatever shares that I wanted to. So um, bef just spoiler alert, I can already tell you that this month is going to be my best month so far. So you definitely want to stick around until the end of the video, guys. Um, also, before we get into it, leave a comment below letting me know how much, uh, how much did you receive in passive income for the month of June? So leave a comment below. Tell me how much did you receive in dividends for the month of June? And let's see if you guys got more or less than me. And, you know, tell me how long you guys been investing. Now, obviously, before we get into the video, guys, go ahead and uh, smash that like button for me. Let's try to get over 100 likes on this video. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I make videos on the top stocks, top penny stocks, um, you know, dividend investing. And I show you guys my passive income and how you can also go ahead and create passive income and uh, live that fire, the fire movement, as everybody likes to say. Just uh, live at home and uh, let the money roll in while we relax. So the first company that paid me out in the month of June was on June 1st, 2020. And the company was Walmart Ticket symbol WMT so if we take a look right there Walmart paid us out six dollars and 32 cents on June 1st if you view the details for Walmart obviously right here this is gonna be um, our their one-year chart they are quarterly paying dividends so every quarter they pay out about right now about 54 cents and the stock is actually doing really really good as Walmart is trying to release uh, Walmart plus and that is a uh, you know has boosted the price from about $118 to currently at around $132.66 they have a dividend yield of 1.61%, which is a pretty decent yield for Walmart. And I believe that they're going to have uh, lots of potential growth in the future. And they're a great company for me to own my portfolio. And I've been adding more and more on the dips. The next company that paid us out was on June 2nd, 2020, which was ticker symbol V, which is, which is Visa. And actually Visa, I got rid of um, recently, but they did pay us out 36 cents, which is not too much. But Visa is a very decent stock to own in the portfolio, obviously. Another quarterly paying dividend, which is about $0.30 cents per uh, share. They have a dividend of 0.56%. And that is one of the main reasons why I got rid of Visa, because I felt like the dividend was very low. And I consider this stock to be more of a growth stock than I do a dividend stock. And that's why I got rid of it out of my portfolio. But it is a decent one and a very safe one to own in the portfolio. Next up after that, we have uh, ticker symbol LQD, which is the um, you know great corporate bond ETF. And this one paid us out on June 5th, 2020. They paid us out 90 cents. So 90 cents from LQD. Um, LQD, you know, great bond, you know, ETF to own in the portfolio. Uh, they have a yield of 2.91%, which is pretty decent. You know, it's not, it's not too bad, I guess you could say. Um, they have a nice, nice dividend that pays out every single month. So it's a monthly paying dividend and they pay out about 31 cents. Um, you know, the stock did have that pullback to down to about $105, which was a great buy, you know, buying opportunity. Even here at 125 was a nice buying opportunity as now we're back to the all time highs, you know, in the past year and uh, the stock just keeps on going up. So another nice one to have. Next up after that, we have ticker symbol PFE, which is Pfizer. So Pfizer in June 5th, 2020, they paid us out $4.58. Now Pfizer, this is one of my favorite companies actually to own in the portfolio, especially in the health field. Um, I really, really like this, um, you know, stock. And I actually just put an order in to buy more of Pfizer. 
as you know, um, you know, yesterday actually, I believe they signed a deal with the U.S. 100 million doses of the um, coronavirus vaccine. So, you know, this stock is very, very big. As long as they have some success with the vaccine, um, they're going to be doing very, very nice. Um, as you can see right here, it's already had a huge run up as earnings are next week. I believe uh, it, it was trading around thirty-two dollars. Currently trading at $38.56, up about 5% on the day. They have a dividend yield, yield of 4.03%, very, very nice dividend. You know, they pay out a quarterly dividend of about 38 cents. So this one, I'm very actually glad to have added more to, to my portfolio as this is an amazing health stock to own in the portfolio. After that, on June 8, 2020, we have ticker symbol SO, which is the Southern Company. The Southern Company paid us out $10.53 now this one, this one is great actually, and this is a, a quarterly paying dividend. So every quarter they pay about sixty-four cents. Um, you know, it's had that pullback when the whole market crashed down, and it still hasn't actually came back to where it was. It's still kind of in the middle right there, but it's consolidating and you know creating kind of like a support area, which is nice to see. They have a dividend of about four point five six percent, so it's a decent dividend actually, and. Um, this is one you know that I might you know think about adding more to the portfolio as the stock is pretty cheap right now and it has a lot more potential to go up. After that, we have another big player on June 9th, 2020. We have J and J, which is Johnson and Johnson. They just had earnings last week. They had amazing earnings actually. The earnings were really really good. The stock didn't move too much actually. It kind of stayed uh, on you know it didn't go up or down, but it did pay me out seven dollars and twenty seven cents, which is pretty decent you know. They pay out a quarterly paying dividend and they pay out about $1.01 per uh, share. Obviously, their dividend is 2.58%. They're another one of the you know top competitors for the Rona vaccine. So uh, just like Pfizer, you know, we have Johnson & Johnson, we have Moderna, NVAX, uh, AZN, and you know a couple of other companies that are trying to battle and be the first ones to make something work. But we will see. Johnson & Johnson, you know, overall, they're just a great company. I mean, right here, before earnings, 137 Now it's at 150 uh, Decent dividend play and also just like a healthy, um, you know, safe, dividend stock to own in the portfolio as it has a lot more you know potential and it has other things that are, um, are keeping it up not just you know hype for the rona vaccine just like pfizer uh, amazing you know health companies health stocks after that we have on june 10th 2020 we have cvx which is chevron corp and they actually did really really good today um the stock was up a lot and um, they paid me out three dollars and 92 cents so they paid us three dollars ninety two cents uh the stock is doing very very nice it's uh the the, the dividend for it is five point three two percent so pretty high dividend actually they had a dip down here obviously to about fifty four dollars great buying opportunity for anybody that got in uh currently you know trading at a decent price it's halfway back to the recovering to where it was before you know all of this uh happened with us but it's a quarterly paying dividend of about $1.29, uh, decent, decent company to own. After that, on June 11, 2020, we have MSFT, which is Microsoft. And Microsoft actually had earnings today, uh, as I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday. Uh, Microsoft had earnings. The uh, earnings were pretty decent. The, the stock did take a little bit of a pullback, obviously. Some people were doing some profit taking, but that was just an opportunity for investors to get in more. Obviously, Microsoft is a great long-term play, one of the best companies out there. They paid us out $2.10. Uh, they obviously pay a quarterly paying dividend, and it's about $0.51 cents per share. Their dividend is actually pretty, pretty low, kind of like Visa, where I sold Visa off. Um, it's, you know, 0.95%, almost 1%. This is more of a growth stock, and in the future, I plan on switching Microsoft into my growth portfolio, as I actually had it in my growth portfolio as well in the past, but... I, um, I might sell this one off out of this portfolio and just keep it in the growth portfolio alone as it's a, it's a pretty low um, dividend and it's kind of keeping my average down. But it's a, it's a nice company to own. Obviously, um, you know, this company, uh, over a trillion market cap, uh, beautiful company to own. After that, we have a REIT. On June 15, 2020, we have ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income Corp. They paid us out $3.19, and this one is actually nice because uh, this one actually pays out every single month. So it's a monthly paying dividend, pays out about $0.23. Cents. Their dividend yield right now is 4.79%. Um, you know, as the whole market crashed down, obviously, so does this. Uh, it went down to a low of about $42. It's not even recovered yet. It's still trading at $58. Um, it has a, a good, you know, another $20, $25 to go until it gets back to where it was before um, the pandemic happened. 
but um, I believe in the long run this is going to come back to its highs of those in the 80s and we can uh, continue to get those nice dividends. After that we have Duke which is going to be ticker symbol DUK on June 16, 2020. They paid us out $3.54 which is nice. This is one of our companies in the energy sector. Uh, they have a dividend yield of 4.57% currently trading at $84. Uh, it's a quarterly paying dividend, so we get paid $0.95 cents per quarter. Uh, down here, we had a dip to about $64 per share. Now, it's, so, you know, it's almost back to the highs where it was before, uh, you know, close to $100. Right now, it's $85. Um, you know, it still has some room to grow, but d definitely a decent play in the energy sector to own. After that, we have NOC, Northrop Grumman Corp., and this was on June 17, 2020. They only paid us out $0.52 cents. This was one of the stocks in my defense um, sector, the, the defense pie, uh, which I actually did get rid of. And you guys will see that in my M1 finance portfolio update. I got rid of my whole defense sector as I thought that it was too slow. And in my opinion, not a sector that I wanted to have in my portfolio. So Lockheed Martin also got sold out of that one. But it did have a, a dividend of 1.71% quarterly paying of about $1.45. Um, it is a decent play, but for me, it's not a good you know play to have in my portfolio and i decided to get rid of it and invest into something else after that on june 18 2020 we have hd which is the home depot home depot paid us out four dollars and seventy cents obviously we all know this is a quarterly paying dividend of one dollar and fifty cents they have a pretty decent dividend actually for um, you know a company as big as they are 2.13 percent which is really nice so over a two percent um you know yield the company did really good they had amazing earnings you know last quarter I believe they're going to have blowout earnings this quarter as well. Um, you know, as this pandemic is still going, people are going out, people are buying supplies to renovate their homes. So, you know, the lines, if you go to your Home Depot, the lines are filled every single day. Lines are out the door. Um, everybody's going to get supplies and people are renovating. They have nothing else to do as they're locked in at home. But beautiful company, uh, very beautiful dip down in here, $152. Now it's over $265 great buying opportunity that we had right there if you got in which is amazing after that june 22nd 2020 we have d dominion energy so as you guys know i'm um, actually i believe uh warren um, warren buffett uh invested uh, you know with berkshire hathaway they invested into uh, d dominion energy and they paid us out four dollars 90 cents but dominion energy is an amazing company actually and uh you know it is getting that deal with them and it has a dividend of 4.72 percent the the stock dropped significantly it went from about 82 dollars all the way down here to about 73 dollars so big drop but that is you know an overreaction so this overreaction is a buying opportunity so if any investor actually saw this drop that was an overreaction buying opportunity that's screaming a buying opportunity right there for you 73 dollars and now it's at 80 dollars almost so that was a great buying opportunity, nice dip to buy. You know, if it overreacts so much like that, that's your opportunity that you need to know. And obviously, as an investor, if you can read the charts and you follow the news, that is something that you should know. Um, they pay out $0.94 cents per quarter. So another uh, nice one to have in my energy sector. After that, on June 26, 2020, we have BAC, which is Bank of America. Uh, one of my favorite bank um, you know, stocks and dividend stocks that I have in the portfolio. They paid us out $3.57. Bank of America pays out a quarterly paying dividend of uh, $0.18 cents per share. Um, they have a dividend of 2.95%. So this is one that I kept in my finance sector. Obviously, I sold off Visa and I sold off MasterCard as well because, like I said, I feel like they're growth stocks more than they are dividend stocks. So I got rid of those two. But I kept Bank of America and I also kept uh, JPM, which is JP Morgan Chase, uh, because I believe that those two have higher potential and a nicer dividend for the long run. And obviously with uh, Bank of America last year, if you guys followed my videos, I was trying to make a position with them. And obviously with this crash, that gave me a huge buying opportunity to load up on this one into my portfolio, which is what I did. And I keep on adding whenever I can, you know, even if it's a few dollars or reinvesting some of my dividends that I receive. I go ahead and use that compounding interest, obviously, and build onto it and hope to um, have a really, really low um, average price. You know, it's close to $24. So if my average price is around $20, $25, I'm going to be very happy with that as, um, you know, compounding interest is going to work in my favor and I'm going to continue to receive dividends and I can go ahead and drip and reinvest those into the portfolio. Next up, we have LMT, which is Lockheed Martin, which we actually talked about the defense sector. This was on June 26, 2020. So obviously I sold off the defense sector, but they did pay us out $2.07. Um, you know, once again, nice company, but for me, I do not 
feel like it's worth for me to have it in my portfolio and that is why I sold it off but they have a dividend of 2.45 percent which is a decent yield obviously um, you know quarterly paying dividend of two dollars and forty cents the stock is doing decent it has it's a decent buy right now um, it has plenty of room to grow uh, obviously with any type of tension with China or anything, and if anything happened, um, that would cause our defense stocks to rise. But right now, everything seems to be okay. After that, we have a big player right here. So June 30th, 2020, we have SPHD, which is the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, and they paid us out $9.09. .09. So this one is one that I kept on adding more and more of during the crash, obviously, and it still hasn't recovered. You know, it still has about $10 to go. So I have a lot of this one in my portfolio and their dividend is very, very nice. 5.96% dividend yield. That's a beautiful dividend yield right there. Almost 6% dividend yield. That's why I just kept on loading up and down here in the you know, low 20s, mid 20s. That was a nice buying opportunity with a 6% yield. And hopefully it'll um, you know, come back up to about that 40s, um, you know, hopefully mid year or end of the year you know, in 2021, obviously. So obviously SPHD is, uh, you know, a monthly paying dividend. They pay out 15 cents every single month. Uh, this one, I'm just going to keep on loading up, make sure, making sure that my, um, you know, average buy is going to be lower than the price that it's currently at until I reach a price that is actually higher than what I'm buying at. And then I will stop adding this one to the portfolio and just let it run up uh, for the long run. After that, we have ticker symbol PEP, which is PepsiCo. So on June 30th, 2020, Pepsi paid us out $2.40. Uh, Pepsi is a quarterly paying dividend. Obviously, they pay out $1.02. They have a yield of 2.89%. They just had earnings, actually, and so did Coca-Cola. They both did amazing, actually, um, better than expected. So both stocks had a nice run-up this past week. Uh, they're doing very, very well, and I love both companies, obviously, uh, even though I favoritize coca-cola a little bit more over pepsi but pepsi is actually i don't want to admit this but pepsi might be a better company to invest in than coca-cola and that's just my personal opinion actually but i do like coca-cola more than pepsi but that is just my honest opinion right now after that on june 30th obviously the last day we have uht universal health realty income trust um, this one actually i took out of my portfolio as well it, i added it this year but I'm not, I'm not too happy with the company, so I went ahead and sold it, but they did pay us out $2.52. Uh, if we take a look right here, they're actually a uh, quarterly paying dividend. They pay out $0.69. Cents. Uh, they pay, their dividend is 3.99%, so about 4%. Um, I believe that you know because it is a health royalty income trust, I believe that this one has some potential to come back, but um, I, I, it was just going down too much, and I felt like it was at a bad it's a bad timing for it in my opinion right now and i feel that this company and the stock itself could go down lower maybe to the high 50s so i went ahead and just sold off and you know maybe in the future i'll add this one back to the portfolio but as of right now i have other better buying opportunities and we have last but not least on the last day obviously vnq which is the vanguard reit index fund um, this one paid us out five dollars fifty one cents obviously this one as well is a quarterly paying dividend they pay out 76 cents every quarter almost a four percent dividend so 3.99 uh, percent they were up here about a hundred dollars pulled back all the way down to 59 dollars now it's currently at almost 80 dollars so it's it's slowly coming back up just as all the other REITs are as well so as long as the REITs are coming back up this will go up as well and this is one that i like to have in the portfolio and potentially add more in the future so this is good because i can continue to uh, build up um, this position now i'm going to go ahead and add up all of these dividends that i received plug it into my chart and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how much i received for this month and here we go i told you guys i told you guys this was going to be the best month so far and since i started um, investing into this dividend portfolio so we shattered our previous goal or our previous record. Our previous record was in March 2020. We received $57.56. Well, in June, June 2020, we earned $77.99 from dividends. Now, that is amazing. We're almost at that $100 per month in dividends. That is my goal, obviously. I want to have a month where I receive $100 in 2020 so we have a few more months left this year and hopefully i can break that 100 dollars barrier and receive you know 100 in one month just from passive income um, obviously i go ahead and reinvest all of this back into the portfolio right now i'm really focused on a lot of the health stocks like pfizer johnson and johnson and abbv i've been adding a lot to those th uh, three positions right there 
Also, I've been uh, adding a lot to the consumer uh, pie that I have. So Walmart, Amazon, I have in there, uh, Home Depot, McDonald's, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all those stocks as well, because I feel like those stocks right now are booming and that sector is pushing really well. Um, as other sectors like the real estate sector and also even kind of like the finance sector and the utilities, they're kind of, uh, you know, not really moving as much as the other stocks are right now. But that just build, you know, gives us more buying opportunities. Maybe those ones that are not moving right now, like the REITs, uh, maybe right now that's actually a better buying opportunity as it's a lower price and in the future it might go up higher. So it all depends how you look at it. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Almost $78, pretty much $78 in dividends for this month. Um, obviously, every three months, I feel like, you know, it's a nice dividend. So July, August, and September. September, I feel like it's going to be a big month again. And then maybe December might be another huge month. Maybe we'll end off the year, uh, you know, at that $100 in that month of December. That would be really, really nice way to end the month. Yeah, for breaking that record, guys, go ahead and smash that like button like we just said. And let's get 100 likes. We have to get 100 likes for that you know, new record right there. Um, you know, I hope that you guys are, are also investing into dividend stocks. Obviously, I, I feel like dividend stocks or dividend investing in general is a really good opportunity to create some passive income. It doesn't take a lot of work. You just go ahead and, you know, invest into companies that you believe in for the long run. You make sure that they have a good track record. You're going to get paid dividends every, you know, quarter or every every month. And you go ahead and reinvest those with the drip method. And, you know, you can have all of it auto invested, all auto um, set up where it will do it by itself. And you don't have to do any work pretty much. And you're just receiving passive income, even if it's 50 cents or one dollar, two dollars every month. It adds up in the long run. As you can see, I started off receiving one dollar, six dollars, nine dollars. And now I'm receiving 57, 30, 36, 77 dollars. So. You know, it takes time. Compounding interest is your best friend. So you definitely want to keep on adding because in the long run, it's like the snowball. The snowball, as it goes down the hill, it gets bigger and bigger, which means you're going to be receiving more and more dividends and you can go ahead and reinvest it or whatever you want to do. You can, you know, live without having to work and just live off of the passive income. And that's something that I want to do. I hope in the future that I can get to about a thousand dollars a month from passive income. That would be amazing. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Leave a comment below how much you received in dividends for this month. Subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys enjoyed this content, obviously, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.